Hey everybody, Pastor Kelly coming at you. It's been a while, I know. My health hasn't been up to par. It's not really today, but that's another video for another day. I wanted to talk to you guys and give you my two cents about this here paddock thing. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever paid attention to the bomb damage assessment, the BDA, from those Muslim countries? They generally start out with I don't know, 35 men, 10 women, 5 children, and 2 or 3 pregnant women. As if those pregnant women weren't part of the original women, as my wife says, I guess they're another gender. I'm not making light of the dead people, and any dead, anyone who gets killed, it's, it's horrible. My point is every report includes a pregnant woman. Think about that. This, what is it? What are the odds that a pregnant woman is going to be involved in every single explosion? You know, this is to focus your attention. They're there rather than uh, the fact that they they are overinflating the numbers by a factor of ten. Uh, you know, i.e., five men, one woman, and maybe a child, and no pregnant woman. Now don't get me wrong, any, like I said, any amount of death, senseless death is, is ridiculous no matter where it's at. And I always pray for the families of the victims. I always do, even in the Muslim countries, because they hurt no matter what false god they believe in. If they succeed in making you think about them poor children or those poor, poor pregnant women, you may not question the validity of their report. You may, in fact, accept the numbers, <laughs> no matter how fictitious or overinflated they are. Now, you might want to ask me, or you all probably thinking, if you made it this far, what are you talking about, Pastor Kelly? Think about this. Now, enter Paddock the Pedo. Has a ring to it, doesn't it? That's what the press has latched on to. That is what Twitter is blasting about. I've just had this up here for quite a while. I've been preparing to make this video. These are all new. There's hundreds of them. Every one of them. Breaking. Las Vegas shooter. Paddock had child porn. Every one of them. Now, don't get me wrong. If it's true, that's a horrible thing. If it's true. But that's what the Las Vegas Sheriff and Police Department praise America will care about. Well, guess what? Folks, that's exactly what they've cared about. There'll be no Las Vegas, you know, in the press conferences, there's, there's be no arrests. We ain't got no motive. We lost the hard drives. He has left no manifesto. But, 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 wait, 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 wait a minute. We found some child porn. Perish the thought. That explains everything. He was an older white male and he had child porn. Case closed. Move on. Now, again, do not get me wrong, folks. Child porn is a vile, vile invention of the last century. Now, it's been around since the beginning of time but so to speak but as far as pictures goes it was basically invented in the 20th century and there is a minuscule part of the public that does partake in this and there are some sick individuals and believe it or not most people always think men but you know there's women that does too it is not as prevalent though among thieves and murderers as the news would like you to think as all this right here would like you to think my son was a uh, correction officer for a while. I digress, but let me tell you something. When they brought in a pedo, a child pornography person, a person that was a, what, he, what they called child diddlers or anything like that, or, or even, uh, even a domestic violence, anybody beat on a woman or a child, they had to segregate those men and women. There was women, too. Or they get their killing done. Thieves and murderers generally don't partake in that kind of thing. It is prevalent among a growing number of pedos and pervs, 
in the world because the world's allowing it. Yes, the world is allowing it to the point that some countries have legalized it. In my humble opinion, the Muslims have always, always legalized it. Research child brides if you don't believe me. And I got a video on my channel here uh, that has, the, I forget the title of it. You can go back and find it. It's about uh, the Afghans and the uh, pedos over there. They'd rather have little boys than they would little girls. I get the video, if you go back and look at it, I may put it in the description or yeah, to uh, link to it. Now, my two cents, as I see it. Paddock may have been a perv slash pedo. Lord knows he looked like one. He had it tattooed on his forehead. At least it was the way it looked. Lord forgive me, but he just had that look. But I'm in a I'm 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 in the doubtful group on this, to tell you the truth. Because he had that look doesn't mean he was that. And again, I'm not defending that murder fool. Why? He was too self involved. Think about it, folks. Think about it. Any man that cared that much about himself to plan an escape plan to have food and explosives and bullets and guns and all. He loved himself, people. The Bible tells us that men become lovers of themselves. That would be him. He certainly wouldn't be loving on anybody else, especially kids. Las Vegas PD need to take the heat off themselves. What better way than to chalk it up to, he was a pedo, Paddock the pedo, Kind of reminds me, and you, I pray it, of, y'all remember? Oh, yeah, and by the way, Oswald was a commie. <laughs> Once you got the commie in there, you know, that was like being called a pedo in the 60s. You were done. While both may be true, it explains not a thing doesn't explain this explains nothing nothing about anything about his murderous ways in my opinion his fast and furious remake ways I do believe on all my heart that this was a federally backed gun deal sting gone bad he found out he was getting a sting put to him so he just had fooey on that and started shooting. Started shooting anything and everything he could. And it had not a thing to do with this. Even though that may be true. It may be true. I'm not saying it ain't. You know. It's kind of strange though. They find. They were, they can't find the hard drives. But yet they found uh, child porn somewhere. On some computer somewhere. Probably pictures of his grandkids taking a bath. Most likely. And believe it or not, that's child porn, folks. If you got that anywhere, <laughs> Lord help you, you better delete it because that's child porn. Even though it's your daughter, son, grandchild, that's you better get rid of it. It's all intended, folks. I know I digress. It's all intended to divert the attention of the sheep. Everybody that's doing this right here. Divert the attention to of the sheep. Paddock the pedo. Nothing more to see here. Swipe or click along to your next row. Well, I thank you all for, if you made it all the way to here, for listening to an old man ramble. God bless you one and all. Y'all pray for us, and as always, we always pray for you and the whole world. Pastor Kelly's out of here.